Hi there. Now, for this question, we're given the rectangular hyperbola H has Cartesian equation xy equals 4. And the point P with coordinates 2t and 2 over t lies on H, where t doesn't equal 0. And we've got to show that an equation of the normal 2h at the point P is given by ty minus t cubed x equals 2 minus 2t to the power 4. And this is for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to see the whole method quickly, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, first of all then, what I'd want to do is sketch a diagram. I always believe in sketching diagrams for things like this, just so I can get an overview of what's going on. So, for an equation like this, xy equals 4, it's going to be a curve looking something like this. Okay, we should be familiar with this, okay. Asymptotes then the y-axis and the x-axis. And our point P can be placed anywhere on the curve. I'm just going to place it, say, at this point here. That's the point P then with coordinates 2t and 2 over t. So we're asked to find the equation of the normal to this curve then h. And that normal is going to look, say, something like this. It's going to be a line then that's perpendicular to our tangent at that point. So to get the equation of the normal, I'm going to look at the form y minus y1 then equals m bracket x minus x1. We've got x1, we've got y1. I'm going to take x1 as 2t, y1 as 2 over t. We just need the gradient m. And to get the gradient m, we differentiate the curve to get the gradient of the tangent and then we use the perpendicular rule to get the gradient of the normal. Okay, so that's the method. So let's start with our curve first of all. If I rearrange that, then we've got y equals 4 divided by x. Same as 4x to the power minus 1. So when it comes to differentiating this, we've therefore got dy by dx equals minus 4x to the minus 2, which is really minus 4 over x squared. Now we're looking for the gradient at the point where x equals 2t. So if we just put when x equals 2t into dy by dx, we therefore have dy by dx then equals minus 4 over all of 2t squared. So that's minus 4 divided by 4t squared. That reduces down to minus 1 over t squared. So now we've got the gradient of the tangent at the point P. We are in a position to get the gradient of the normal. So we'll put therefore gradient of normal. And all we need to do is using the perpendicular gradient rule, switch the sign, which is going to be a positive now, and reciprocate this. So you're going to end up with t squared. So we've got the gradient of the normal. We can now say that therefore the equation of the normal, okay, equation of normal, and that's at p, okay, so we'll say at p is, and what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be y minus y1, y1 then is 2 over t, 2 over t equals m the gradient which we've seen is t squared multiplied by x minus x1, x minus x1, x1 is 2t. So it's just a question of getting this equation to this one and so I can see that if I multiply through First of all, by t, we therefore have ty, okay, minus 2 equals t cubed multiplied by x minus 2t. And then if we 
expand the bracket and I'm sure rearrange this we'll get the answer so we've got ty minus 2 equals expanding the bracket gives us t cubed x minus 2t to the power 4 and then if we just simply take away this term from both sides and add 2 to both sides we end up with the result that we've got to show. ty minus t cubed x equals 2 minus 2t to the power 4. Okay?